Okay, so um, some of the API responses that uh, I have written, uh, you know, fake responses like uh, when I'm fetching a profile and when I'm fetching an article, so they are kind of working right now. If I run the server and I go to 788 and uh, say I try out slash API slash user, it gives me the user data. If I go to slash uh, users, uh, no, sorry, uh, slash uh, profile slash earner, for example, then I get like this profile information. If I go to articles, it gives me like an array of articles. If I go to slash article slash uh, uh, one article like that, it gives me like one of the articles. If I try the slide like this, and if I go slash commands, shows me commands of that uh, particular article. So like uh, basic API structure at the router level, the roots level is uh, kind of ready right now. The next thing that we will move on to is uh, start building the uh, models. So uh, we'll just go to models and uh, create a new uh, file, which um, of course uh, uh, I'm gonna like uh, create the database file first, uh, SQLize uh, config, All right? Um, so, um, So we'll uh, do it somewhat uh, like this, uh, const uh, sqlize equal to require uh, sqlize and then uh, const tb is gonna be new sqlize and I'll have to create a database and give it a username and all of that stuff. So let me do that and I'll write that down in our readme also. Uh, set up a database. Now what I'm going to do for uh, setting up the database is of course, uh, first of all, log into uh, MySQL uh, as root. Uh, so I uh, have logged into MySQL as uh, root, you know. So uh, from my bash shell, I'm going to do MySQL u root, which logs it into MySQL. Uh, then, uh, I'm gonna write, uh, of course, uh, create database uh, real world DB. Um, and then I'm gonna write create database, uh, sorry, create user, uh, real world user with real world pass, uh, something like this. Oh, sorry, I had to write it like a uh, different thing. Create user uh, uh, real world user uh, identified by uh, real world pass. So I just uh, mixed up the Postgres and MySQL syntax for a second. My bad. It's going to be create user real world user and file by real world pass and then uh, grant uh, all privileges on a uh, real world db dot start to real world user and then I'm going to do flush privileges so let me just uh, copy paste that stuff here create database real world db so that's uh, like the first line then uh, the next stuff that we need is uh, Uh, create user real world user with so this and next I need to grant all the privileges and then finally flush privileges so that's what I need to set up the you know database and all stuff with So I'm going to create like new SQLize database and give it all the names. Database would be real world DB. Um, then uh, username would be 
we will use a sorry dialect is supposed to be mysql okay and uh, host is going to be localhost so it's going to pick up localhost automatically that's going to be my db and then i'm going to create like the models that are required so of course i need a const user equal to db dot define i need a user table first of all okay uh, so uh, the user table is uh, supposed to have let's just go and see what kind of objects that we need so we need a like a user table which needs email uh, to uh, so it needs like email username uh, bio and image like the token is supposed to be dynamically generated it's a JWT token uh, for the token I don't uh, need to save it into the database so I need a uh, email username bio and image all of which are strings so email uh, sqlize dot string we can have some validation validate uh, email true uh, oh, sorry i think uh, sqlize validation let's just check out uh, dot dot sqlize how to validate uh, for something like email validations so what validation exists so there is a validation for uh, is email so i'm gonna do uh, is email true uh, and uh, it must be unique of course and uh, it's gonna be uh, allow null false because of course right let's email and then what else do we need we need a uh, username what we can do is username uh, can be of type uh, string we can make this the primary key as well primary key uh, true for this it will automatically make it unique and allow null uh, then uh, we need uh, bio and image which both of which can be uh, of string type bio and uh, image but then image you probably need like uh, validation so uh, we can do is uh, type sqlize dot string it can be null allow null is true but uh, it will validate uh, is url so is url true like that okay i think uh, that's the correct way yeah is url so there is a validation for that okay so got like this user object uh, going and uh, we're going to do the same thing for all the other objects uh, i'm going to make an object for uh, the profile is not supposed to have a separate object user objects and profile objects are going to be same i'm going to create an article object and i'm going to create a comment object so i'm just going to quickly create those objects uh, off screen like uh, i'm going to end this video here create the objects uh, not on video because again that will make the video too long uh, i'm going to come back with the next video where i'm going to work on the relationships like if a user follows another user how to deal with that if a command belongs to an article how to deal with that we're gonna come up and discuss those in the next video okay